So we did step one of doggy zen last time and that helped improve their impulse control. What we want to do this time is work to building in a little bit more connection with your dog. So they're looking more at you rather than uh, just resisting the food. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our food this time and we're gonna put it in front of our dog's face again. But this time we're gonna open it straight out because they should have practiced the previous step uh, enough time so that they are quite uh, good at it. And then this time I'm gonna put the treat straight in front of their face and um, what we want is for them to give us eye contact rather than just resisting the food. So what I'm going to do is put that right in front of his face. If he goes for it, I'm going to close my hand again, just to reaffirm that he shouldn't be going for it. And then I'm waiting for that eye contact and clicking and treating that rather than just the resisting the food. Because then this gives you uh, a greater opportunity to reward your eye contact, which is very helpful because it's a very key behaviour. And it also helps your dog know what else you would like him to do in the presence of something he really wants. <laughs> I didn't get it to your mouth, did I? Yeah, stick it there. Uh, again, I'm trying <laughs> to make sure that it goes straight to his mouth because that's going to help us with our leave it and our similar behaviours later. So I'm making sure that I'm clicking at that moment he gives me that eye contact. Because that is the moment that he manages to resist it and offer me something else, which takes a lot of self-control. It's a lot of work. So this is step two to your doggy zen and it's worth practicing with different values of treats to make sure they're really getting the idea and generalizing the behavior really well. Okay.